Hey guys, this is going to be another update video on the building process of my quenchant warming tank. Uh, at this time I should have at least a couple videos posted. Uh, one showing an overview of the project and just the general idea and another showing uh, another update of the initial phase of the build which involved the tank itself. Some setbacks I had with that as well as some solutions uh, that I was able to employ. And uh, just to recap that real quickly, I did have some issues with the initial building of the tank itself with sealing it up watertight. Uh, once I got the base attached to the pipe in order to make the actual tank, uh, I noticed that I had a couple of pinhole leaks uh, due most likely to just not distributing the PVC cement well enough. Uh, and maybe I just didn't have enough in there to seal it completely. And I was able to remedy that problem by adding an additional amount of epoxy based putty to the outer uh, joint as you can see here you should also be able to see it in the other video which I should have uploaded by now and uh, I was able to finally get that watertight uh, where I needed it to be and that putty seems to be working very well uh, so I'm very happy with that uh, I've since moved on to the wiring portion uh, trying to get a thermostat wired in uh, to more effectively uh, automate the heating process. Uh, I really wanted this to be something that I could flip a switch on, walk away, uh, do some other things, and then come back and have it at a preset temperature. Uh, using an electric heater or an electric water heater uh, thermostat tied into the electric water heater element that I'm using. Uh, but I've kind of learned a few things tonight in my preliminary testings and I just wanted to share that with you real quickly. Uh, first of all, just to go back over what I believe I mentioned in my uh, initial project overview video, uh, I had purchased this electric water heater thermostat uh, in order to help regulate the temperature of that heating element which is screwed in through the bottom there. And the way this works, uh, this has a couple of thermal discs on the back side here which would be directly in contact with the water heater case on an electric water heater, uh, which would normally be made out of metal, uh, where the heat transfer would be a lot more than what you would get from PVC, which I'm using. Uh, and that heat transfer would be enough uh, once it reached a preset temperature, which you could set on this front dial here. Uh, these discs would actuate a relay contact inside uh, opening that contact at a certain temperature uh, which would then discontinue current to the heating element and discontinue the warming of the water in the tank. Uh, then as the water cooled back down past that threshold the contacts would close again repeating the process uh, until they were hot enough to open. And uh, I thought that I would be able to use this uh, for my quenchant tank along with this heating element uh, but since I was using PVC as the main shell and not being able to get enough heat transfer through that, uh, I initially thought maybe I could use these bolt heads as makeshift heat sinks. Uh, since these bolts do run from the outside to the inside, they would be in contact with the quenchant solution. Uh, and I thought that maybe they would warm up along with the solution enough that if they were to be in contact with these discs as I mounted this to the underside, uh, that they would actuate the relay contacts in the same way. Uh, I did wire this up, put it together, flipped it on, filled it with water, and uh, did some initial testing. And while the thermostat did function, it unfortunately was not at the thresholds or the temperature limits that I needed, uh, nor would it, was it really at the precision that, would I, that I would have needed, uh, even if I made some adjustments. So I've kind of been rethinking this. Uh, one thing I did notice is that the water uh, did heat up rather quickly with the element. Uh, so it really didn't take very long at all. I don't think it would be much longer with oil, even if it was uh, pretty cold. Uh, I did use cold water to start off with, uh, just to kind of get a gauge of how fast it would warm up. And uh, since it is such a short heating time, uh, I really don't think that there's much use in automating this process uh, since my initial concern was partly just wasting time monitoring the temperature manually 
uh, and having to stir it manually just to help mix up the heated solution or the quenchant uh, with the non-heated quenchant. Uh, and initially I thought maybe I'd install a small circulation pump along with the thermostat and uh, again try to automate this whole process and get some precision there. Uh, I really don't think I'm going to be able to uh, very easily do that uh, with these supplies with that thermostat uh, or with this current setup. Uh, I think I would have to make some pretty large modifications such as uh, perhaps drilling a hole somewhere in the middle to the top of this tank, uh, installing some kind of a, a copper or aluminum plug for a heat sink and using that to gauge the temperature on the outside if I was going to use that particular thermostat. Uh, another thing I could do would get an electronic thermostat which used a thermocouple, uh, maybe drape the thermocouple over the top uh, and then use that to adjust and monitor the temperature uh, I would still need to circulate the quenchant somehow, uh, either by stirring it by hand or by installing a small circulation pump. Uh, I really don't want to get into that much effort or cost for this particular project. It might be something I do in the future uh, with maybe a better constructed quenching tank. Uh, for now, just based on how quickly I think that I could uh, stir this up myself, circulate the oil myself, and heat it up to temperature by manually monitoring it with a thermometer. Uh, I think I'm just going to wire everything directly uh, and just have kind of a manual quenching tank, uh, which is kind of what I've been doing in the past. I have been manually monitoring the temperatures of my heating oil uh, by putting in a pot on my uh, griddle plate over there and then transferring that into a canister. Uh, I think I'm still removing a step or two uh, just by having a tank with a pre-installed heating element. Uh, so I'm still saving some time, still saving some effort, and I really don't think I'm going to be sacrificing a lot of time or effort uh, just by manually monitoring everything. Uh, so that's where I'm at now. Uh, this has kind of been a learning process for me. Uh, I was just kind of throwing some ideas out in my head and kind of working at it as I went along. Uh, but as I've kind of come to this point, I've realized that it really shouldn't be that much of a hassle, again, to manually monitor this. And uh, there's still maybe some plans in the future uh, if my blade production reaches a point that I'm quenching five or six blades at a time. Uh, I will probably make a larger quenching tank that is a little bit more automated as far as uh, the heating of the oil. Uh, that being said, another thing I considered and kind of thought about, uh, just with the volume of this particular tank, uh, the oil or the quenching, it's going to heat up pretty fast. Uh, and then it's probably going to heat up with each additional blade uh, pretty rapidly as well, depending on the surface area of the blades. And uh, I probably won't be able to quench more than maybe uh, two or three blades at a time in this anyway. Uh, so that's kind of another reason I'm figuring what's the point of going through all the trouble and just automating the initial heating of the oil uh, when I'm only going to be able to use it for a short amount of blades or a small amount of blades anyway. Uh, again, if this was a larger tank... Uh, maybe with a bit more volume. Uh, right now it only holds about a gallon or so. Uh, if I was making maybe a five gallon tank uh, or something around that size, I probably would want to automate it a little bit more. Uh, have a circulator pump in there and just uh, make that easier to regulate. But uh, I think I'm going to be okay just uh, doing it manually. So uh, that's kind of where I'm at now. I'm going to go ahead and make a base for this. Uh, install a switch and just get this set up to where I can uh, add some quenching in there and uh, switch it on and monitor it myself. Uh, stay tuned for that part. Uh, I do have some Parks 50 coming to me hopefully soon that I can put in there and use to quench uh, Pat's knife as well as some others. So I am excited about that. Uh, stay tuned for those updates just to see uh, what I do end up doing with this. Uh, but right now, I think I'm going to scrap the whole uh, automated process uh, in favor of a manual one. That's just a little bit uh, better for me right now. So uh, that's where I'm at. appreciate you guys watching. Have a good day.